You're listening to the Favorite Marriage Podcast, a place where you and your spouse can experience God's favor on your forever. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Favorite Marriage Podcast. My name is Monty, and this is my wife, Janine, and we are the Moras, and uh, we're the creators of this podcast, and um, we created this ministry simply because we wanted to come alongside married couples to learn and to grow with them. And so um, we are so excited because it's been a while since we've been able to get this ministry launched and up and running. Uh, There's been a lot of challenges, um, but here we are nonetheless. And so we are excited to um, come to you today and share what God has put upon our hearts. And so Janine, why don't you share a little bit about our marriage journey? Yeah, so... Um, Monty and I have been married for almost 28 years. Um, September 1st, we will celebrate 28 years of marriage. And in that 28-year span, um, we have pretty much been in ministry um, all those years. We have had some times of um, healing that we've taken off of ministry, also a couple of sabbaticals here and there. But for the most part, the day I said I do was the day we began ministry together. Um, in those 28 years, we have had the blessing of raising three beautiful children. Our oldest, Caleb, is 26 years old, and he's married to his beautiful wife, Alexis. We have also our middle son, um, Jared. He is 23 years old, and our baby girl is 19, almost 19. 20. Wow. So, yeah, we are, we're empty nesters for the most part, um, but, uh, yeah, we definitely miss our kids and love to have them. Um, over as much as we possibly can, but we do. We're we're enjoying the empty nest stage. It's it's a it's a new adventure for us for sure. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Twenty eight years of marriage. There's been some challenges. Yes. Um, I'm curious. What do you think are some current challenges we still experience today? Like as of like just yesterday, challenges yeah. that we still. Or even today, yeah. Yeah, actually, <laughs> yeah, today. Um, well, y'all might be a little surprised to know that. Um, one of the biggest challenges Monty and I are still facing after 28 years is um, how to sort our laundry. So <laughs> we were raised different yeah. ways of sorting. I mean, he has his way. I have my way. I mean, they're pretty close um, to similar. But, yeah, there's just times when I look at the baskets and I'm like, yeah, okay. I'm grateful that you do laundry. So I've learned yeah. just to just to zip my lip and... And when it's my turn, I do it my way. Yeah. yeah. And for me, it's the way the dishes get loaded in the dish, dishwasher. <laughs> I mean, we all know that everybody knows that you load the utensils face down, not face up. Because you don't want, like, cross-contamination, right? Yeah. I mean, and, and I, I'm kind of just flexible with both of them. I mean, if you go down and you look in in the um, dishwasher right now, I'm sure you have some up, some down. Bottom line is, is they get clean, right? The, the dishes get clean, the laundry gets clean, we're good. Yeah, so, yeah, absolutely. Big challenges. <laughs> yeah. Of course, we're just kidding, but um, we will be sharing a lot of different challenges that we will be facing, or that we have faced, and that you may be facing um, yeah. throughout other podcasts. But, yeah, we'll get to that at a later date. So you might be wondering, why did we even create the Favorite Marriage podcast? And Really, in reality, the simplicity is we have a passion for married Mm -hmm. couples. Um, Early on in our marriage, we had couples that came alongside of us and Mm -hmm. they helped us. They were open. They were transparent with us. And they put a lot of tools in our marriage toolbox. And simply, we want to come alongside you as a married couple and do the same for you. We're going to be open. We're going to be transparent about um, the ups and downs, the hills, the valleys of um, marriage problems that we've had Mm -hmm. um and we want to be able to come alongside and put all these tools that we've had that we that we have with us and put it inside of their marriage toolbox right and we are not claiming by no means to say we have all the answers and that we are the perfect couple because we we are not um we still have our everyday challenges but god has definitely had his hand upon us yeah uh, many years ago when we said i do and then again when Um, we said we still do Um, he is he has been our rock Mm -hmm. absolutely yeah and Janine even coming up with the name the favorite marriage uh, was a journey for us I mean you know if you guys were to you know be like a fly on the wall in our journey 
there were so many different names we were wrestling with. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. We had pages back and, you know, front and back as far as what the name was going to be. But we finally decided to come up with the name, The Favorite Marriage, and assign that name to our podcast simply because um, as we began to learn and grow and pray and even learn about different things in Scripture, right. um, we felt like that's where we wanted to be. So actually right now in... Our church, it's been a year that we've been yeah. doing character studies. And what we saw um, in some of these characters, because we've, been, we've really been diving in deeper. So famous people like David and Esther, Ruth, Nehemiah, Jonah, and some of these we've even done our own character studies on um, mm-hmm. outside our church. But um, we've noticed that when someone says yes to God and when they align themselves up to the, the will of God and they surrender there's yeah. a favor that comes upon them, and there's um, miraculous things that God does through them. And as a marriage, as you know, as a husband and wife, that has been our heart's desire. Um, when we said we do, and when we said we still do, we definitely wanted to see God's favor moving in our lives, and we definitely yeah. have seen that. And we can't keep it to ourselves, and that's exactly why we felt like, you know, how can we get the message? of God's favor upon a marriage out to the community, um, out to the world. And who knows what God's going to do with this. We have um, just, we're praying and asking God to do great things through our obedience. And so, um, yeah, a podcast was one of the options that came up with technology these days. Mm -hmm. You know, that's just um, something we're hoping that God uses. And with your help, expands the message of of God's favor on a marriage. Yeah. You mentioned a few of the Bible characters and in, in thinking of scripture. We were talking the other day about Psalm 23. Remember that? Right. And, um, and we were looking at the Psalm 23 through the lens of marriage as God shepherding a married couple. Mm-hmm. And when you get down to verse six, it says that surely your mercy and your goodness will follow me all the days of my life. Right. And what we loved about that was even... In the Psalm 23, we can see the favor of God yes. chasing after a person who follows after God, who allows God to right. to shepherd them. And that's also in the context of marriage. And mm-hmm. so we'll be talking more about that in future episodes, but yeah. we'll be breaking down Psalm 23. And those of you who know Psalm 23, I mean, that's just a very common um, scripture. Yeah. You probably heard it at a funeral. Some of you might know it by heart. But we had never really looked through the, the lens of marriage at Psalm 23. And as we begin to yeah. read through it, it's, it's pretty awesome how when you do say um, to the Lord, come shepherd us as a marriage, um, what what actually takes place. And we are, we are a testimony to that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, hey, folks, we don't want to take any more of your time. We just wanted to um, uh, share a little brief message with you, an introduction message with mm-hmm. you regarding the launch of this new podcast, um, The Favorite Marriage. And you might be wondering, what are some ways that you can come alongside of us and help us? Mm -hmm. Uh, First of all, we would appreciate uh, for you to like and to share um, the podcast. Uh, We're going to be on um, Facebook, Spotify, we have our YouTube channel. So please like and share it with your family members, your neighbors, your coworkers, friends, everybody. Yeah. And also, if you have questions or maybe even content that you would like for us to tackle, they can send us an email. Right. Um, we have an email address called the favorite marriage at gmail.com. You can shoot us an email there. Mm-hmm. And then the third way you can support us is by prayer. Um, yes, guys, please. we can use your prayer. Um, we, we, we appreciate your prayer support and we look forward to um, uh, trusting that God will put us upon your heart and we'll be praying for you as well. Yes. And that's, I'm glad you said that, Monty, because we are definitely not doing this um, to receive glory and honor for Absolutely ourselves. Not. We are simply wanting to come alongside of those people who are out there and are just needing someone to come alongside them like someone did for us so many years ago. Um, you know, we've been able to um, counsel and, and coach couples for the last um, year, and we realize that yeah. there is a great need out there, and we can only do so much in one week's time, in one month's time. So we want you to utilize this platform as you know the best you can, and we will do our best to also um, reach out and 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 come alongside you. Yeah, absolutely, mm-hmm. perfect. 
Well, thank you all for listening in today. We look forward to many more episodes and sharing um, amazing marriage uh, context with you. So you have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining and we'll see you next time. See ya. Thanks for listening to The Favorite Marriage, where you and your spouse can experience God's favor on your forever. If you enjoy this resource, please leave us a review and share it with your friends. We'll see you next time on The Favorite Marriage Podcast.